So as I hinted in the last video, in this one we're going to be talking about mathematical operators. So what that means is essentially maths. So you know, things like addition, subtraction, all those sorts of things, and what the syntax is for them in Python, you know, how it works, and maybe a bit of why it's sort of so fundamental to programming. Because math is really an integral part of it, and when you try to build larger applications in Python, you're going to use these skills more and more to be able to sort of manipulate different sort of numbers, or strings, or even the variables themselves. So let's have a look and see what that looks like in Python. So you could do, for example, 2 plus 3. That's an example of an addition. So the output is going to be 5. So that's pretty straightforward. It's just a standard sort of notation that you're probably used to in a lot of your maths lessons in school and things like that. So we could also do subtraction. So 3 minus 2 is 1. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, we could do multiplication, so 4 times 5, for example. And remember the asterisk in Python is for multiplication. We don't use the letter X, we use the asterisk. So we can go ahead and do that. That's going to output 20, which is the correct result. That's what we'd expect from 4 times 5. Uh, we can also do things like division. And when we do division, this is the one where we wouldn't necessarily expect to get an integer back if, you know, one the one number, the first operand, doesn't divide perfectly into the other one. So, in this instance, we can actually get uh, decimal values as well. So, in this case, we get 1.25, which is, again, what we'd expect. Now, this is a decimal and it's what's called a floating point floating point number in computing so what that means is it's just uh, a number that's not an integer and there's also a certain scope for it so it can't be above or below a certain size but that's sort of getting a bit uh, complicated for the scope of this tutorial uh, but what you need to know for now is that this is what's called a float which is just short for floating point decimal. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, Python just shortens that that expression, floating point decimal, into float and that's the type of that number and I can demonstrate that to you when we talk a bit about storing these sorts of numbers in variables. Uh, just for your reference these ones are integers in Python as well so we can illustrate that a bit more by saying what's the type of 5 divided by 4. Now we get a class of float. Now this is going to get a little bit complicated so I'm not going to cover this in this tutorial what a class is because that's getting uh, a bit more advanced but what you need to know for now as I was saying the type of the, the type of that number which is 5 over 4 or 1.25 as a decimal is a float, a floating point binary number. Uh, so we can do that with the integer example to just double check that it is uh, an integer. So that's what we'd expect, or an int, which is what Python calls it because it's just shortened the expression, it's a bit less to type, it's just a little bit easier. And so that's an int. And we could also just double check because we saw that in the second tutorial in this series, which was on strings, that also had a type. So we can just double check um, by saying, you know, this is a string and sure enough we get the type of a string. So the last one that I want to show you uh, is print. So we can print, uh, for example, 4 times 5 and that literally outputs the exact same thing but we'll need to use this function because when we start writing files with multiple lines in them Python won't know whether to run the line or not unless we tell it to. So that's what print does. It's very simple. It just prints the output uh, to the console or the Python shell, whatever you want to call it. It's the same thing. Um, and then that allows us to see the output because when we, when we write multiple lines in a file, we're not necessarily going to get that output straight away unless we explicitly tell Python that we want 
the output. Now, the only other thing that I wanted to show you with regards to maths at this point in Python is what happens when you put two asterisks is next, to e next to each other. So it looks like this. We could do five asterisks, asterisks, two. And what that does is essentially five raised to the power of two. So when we run that, we get 25, which is five squared. So they're probably the most common operators that you're going to be using in Python sort of on a regular basis when you start to write slightly more complex programs uh, in files, which we'll get to very shortly, uh, to be able to sort of use all this knowledge that you've just learned and actually write a program uh, that sort of helps you to learn by typing the code out yourself and everything like that. So you can look forward to that in the next video.